Hello, I'm Ikumi Banno. I'm going to talk about this dead driven sparse event triggered control of unknown systems. Event triggered control is getting attention in network control. This is a block diagram of event triggered control. Unlike normal control systems, they have this block, event condition. This block drives the controller. For details, look at second figure. In this figure, the horizontal axis represents time, and the vertical one is input. As shown in this figure, the input of event triggered control is updated if certain event occurs. As a result, the input is piecewise constant, like this. A typical example of event is this. In this case, the input is updated if the norm of state vector is greater than the threshold, gamma. Inspired by this method, sparse event triggered control is recently proposed. In this method, the input is updated by an, in by an event like normal event triggered control. But in this method, after time epsilon is elapsed, the value of input will be zero. And then, if the event occurs, then non-zero input is generated again. This is used when the system has following property, input must be sparse. For example, when actuators of plant receive an intermittent power supply. Note that such intermittent power supply has been proposed as, for example, power packet. In this method, under suitable event condition, system has the following properties, sparse input and globally asymptotically stable. However, frame front model is not available, like this. We cannot construct this block, event condition. In this case, we would like to construct event condition by alternative way, like date-driven method. Then, the purpose of this study is following. To drive date-driven sparse event trigger controller, that is, event condition for unknown systems. Next, I will explain about the system to formulate a problem. The system is depicted in this figure. Firstly, plant is given by this equation. In this equation, A and B are assumed as unknown and stabilizable. Secondly, event condition. To formulate the event, we define a function S, event function. That is, when the time function S is equal to zero, then the event occurs, and input is updated. We write Tk as the time that case event occurs. Finally, for this Tk, the controller is defined. Epsilon is the length of time under control, and f is a feedback gain such that f plus bf is who bits. Then controller is written by this equation. I will explain this by using this figure. This figure represents the input of this system. On time interval from tk to tk plus epsilon. Then state, state feedback input is applied. And from tk plus epsilon to tk plus 1, then input is 0. Then we adapt this state driven strategies. First, an event function S is adaptively updated by using observed state data, like this. And second, we construct the function sequence SK such that SK converges to S, that is a suitable event function. Then problem is formulated as follows. Given epsilon, then we find SK that is the uh, event function sequence such that 
the following two statements holds. One is this inequality holds for all k. This means input is sparse. The another is this system is globally asymptotically stable. As a preliminary, let us review the existing results. In which it is assumed that plant model is available. In this method, event condition is constructed as follows. Define Vax as a quadratic clear plan function of this system. Then the event condition is given by this. That is, the event occurs if Vxt equals to time varying threshold gamma t. In this framework, Vx can be viewed as evaluation function of a badness of the system state. Note that we use the function gamma that is strictly decreasing. I explained this method by using this figure. Above figure means input of the system, and below one represents time evolution of function Vxt. In this figure, the larger the value of Vxt, the worse state of the system. First, intermittent state feedback is applied into plant in this time interval. At the same time, the value of Vxt is strictly decreasing with respect to time t. Second, when input is zero, then Vxt is increasing if matrix A is not full bits. Third, if Vxt equals to threshold gamma t, then input, input is applied again. Finally, Vxt is now strictly decreasing, like 1. These steps is used repeatedly to stabilize system by sparse input. Key idea of this method is this. Vxt always decreases when an input is applied. However, if, a, if the plant is unknown, it is hard to derive a real function V. This means we cannot construct event condition. To overcome this obstacle, we use the idea about solving Lyapunov equation by data-driven manner. We now aim to calculate the solution to this Lyapunov equation under the assumption that A and B are unknown. Then we consider a quadratic form of this matrix and its integral on this time interval. That is, we consider this. By substituting equation 1, this equality holds. And then, this quadratic function is now transformed into this form. Now, this is integral of a derivative. Thus, this equation 2 holds. In this equation, we note that these values are all available from obtained data, and p is unknown. In other words, this equation is a linear equation involving elements of p as unknowns. Then, following the theorem holds. If dataset has enough information, that is, certain matrix is full rank, then equation 2 has a unique solution, which is the solution to 1. Next, by using these ideas, we construct the driven version of sparse event regard control. The event condition is given by this, which is constructed by using similar ideas to model based one. Now, V and gamma is changed into VK and gamma K. The function VK is estimated Lyapunov function, and this matrix the estimation matrix sequence is constructed by using 
the aforementioned method. On the contrary, gamma k is the threshold and is determined by pk like this. Then, following theorem is derived. If that set has enough information, following statement holds for all epsilon. Input is sparse and resulting system is globally asymptotically stable. Let us demonstrate this method by numerical simulation. Simulation parameters are given as follows. Simulation result is in this figure. This figure depicts time evolution of input, state, and estimation matrix PK. Although plant model is not available, we can find that input is sparse, state vector converges into origin, and matrix PK is also converges to, into true value, that is, solution to Lyapunov equation. I will make the conclusion of this presentation. We present a data-driven sparse event trigger control for unknown systems. System is stabilized when the obtained data has enough information, and any length of time efficient can be used. This is favorable property for an intermittent power supply. In the future work, this approach must be extended to the case where the data are exposed to noise. This concludes the presentation. Thank you for listening.